Oh boy, where do I even begin with this masterpiece of cinema? From the moment I heard about the concept of Ant-Man, I knew that Marvel had really outdone themselves. A superhero who can shrink to the size of an ant. Genius! I mean, who needs superheroes with actual useful powers when you can have one who can get stepped on without anyone noticing? But let's talk about the plot, or lack thereof. From the very beginning, it's clear that the filmmakers weren't too concerned with having a coherent storyline. We're introduced to Scott Lang, a thief with a heart of gold who just wants to provide for his daughter. Sounds like a compelling character, right? Wrong! The writers were far too busy trying to make Paul Rudd seem charming to actually give him any depth or substance. And don't even get me started on the villain, Darren Cross, a guy who used to work with Hank Pym and is now trying to replicate his technology for reasons, who needs a compelling motive when you can have a generic bad guy who just wants to take over the world. And let's not forget about Yellow Jacket, the villain's alter ego, because one generic villain wasn't enough, apparently. But let's talk about the action scenes, because those were definitely the highlight of the movie. I mean, who doesn't love watching ants swarm all over a guy's face? It's like watching a nature documentary, but with slightly more explosions. And the fight scenes? Epic! Watching tiny little ants carry around a key was the most thrilling thing I'd ever seen. Move over, Mission Impossible, Ant-Man has taken the crown for best heist movie. And the supporting cast? Who could forget Michael Pena's Lewis, a character whose only defining trait is that he talks really fast? Or David Dasmalkin's Kurt, a guy with a Russian accent who likes to tell stories. Truly, these characters are as memorable as they come. But let's talk about what really matters. Paul Rudd's abs. I mean, who cares about character development or a coherent plot when you have a leading man with a six-pack like that? The filmmakers knew what their audience wanted and they delivered it in spades. Overall, the first Ant-Man movie was truly a cinematic masterpiece that will go down in history as one of the greats. Move over. Citizen Kane, there's a new king in town. Who needs substance or nuance when you can have a superhero who can shrink to the size of an ant?